Hey guys, what's up? I'm Mark and in this channel, I talk a little bit about lifestyle but I mostly talk about business and investments. After making quite a number of investment videos in the past two years, I realized that nothing gets you guys quite excited as investments that yield regular dividends. Now I've made it my personal mission to find more investment options for you that do exactly this. One of the more popular ones would be the BPI ALFM Global Multi-Asset Income Fund which yields monthly dividends and is available via BPI and Gcash just to name a few. So about a year ago, I made this video about these investment funds brought to us via Atram which also yield regular dividends. The first would be the Atram Global Multi-Asset Income Fund and the second would be the US Multi-Asset Income Fund. Now there are actually two more investment funds from Atram that also yield regular dividends. I actually thought that I've already presented all these four to you guys. But when I was reviewing my videos, I realized that I haven't presented the other two dividend paying funds from Atram. Better late than never. So without further ado, let's finish this intro and let's go. So the first of these investment funds would be the similarly named Atram Asian Multi-Asset Income Fund. Now we've already covered the Global Multi-Asset Income Fund and the US Multi-Asset Income Fund. What's the difference with this one? Well, obviously, this one is focused on the ASEAN region. It actually allocates more of its portfolio towards equities at 51%. A little close to 40% would be in fixed income securities and the rest would be cash and other assets. So this is a little different from the previous multi-asset income funds wherein they invested a little less in equities. The top five regions that it invests in would be primarily first with China, the second with Hong Kong, the third with India, the fourth with Australia, and the fifth as South Korea. So for its target fund, we have the Schroeder Asian Asset Income Fund. And to name a few of the equities it invests in would be Taiwan Semiconductors, Rio Tinto, and Tencent Holdings. Now moving on to its performance, which is really what matters to us. This fund is actually the newest among the four dividend paying funds. With its year to date for 2023, it's currently at negative 3%. So that would be on the net asset value per unit or NAVPU. And in terms of dividends, the projections seem to be between 3 to 5% based on annual dividends. Unfortunately though, the latest quarter wherein the dividends were declared was only at 1.46%. So that's so far been one of the lower dividend payouts that I've seen out there. But of course, this is just based on the last quarter. The dividends would of course still be weighted on the average as a whole. And for its payouts, the dividends are actually declared on a quarterly basis rather than a monthly basis, which is probably what we've been more accustomed to with the past dividend paying funds that we've talked about. Do take note though that even if the dividends are paid out quarterly, its dividends are still based on the annualized projection. Lastly about this fund is its annual trust fee at 1.2%. So let's move on to the second investment fund. This is the Atram Global Dividend Feeder Fund. So this fund would be more on the aggressive side. 95% of the portfolio is allocated to equities. And since it's a global dividend fund, its investments are spread all throughout. Primarily the top five countries it invests in would be first the US, the second would be the UK, third would be France, fourth would be Switzerland, and the fifth would be Germany. Its target fund is the Global Dividend Fund from Fidelity Funds and it also invests in companies across a wide range of industries including finance, industrials, and healthcare primarily. Just to name a few of the companies that it invests in, there would be Unilever, Roche, Sanofi, and Novartis. So as you can see, this fund is actually quite heavy in the pharma and healthcare space. And moving to the important part, which is the performance of the fund. Its NAVPU, based on a one-year period, is at 6.74% in terms of returns. And if we are to look at this from the basis of the last three years, the fund has returns of over 30%. So it's done quite well in terms of its NAVPU performance. But in terms of its dividends, it's only paying out about 2-3%, which is admittedly a little lower than the multi-asset income funds that we've previously talked about. Um, if the last fund was paying out dividends on a quarterly basis, this one pays out dividends on a bi-monthly basis, so every other month. And in terms of its trust fee, it's at 1.1% per annum, so this is a little lower than the previous fund that I talked about. 
So those are the two investment funds from Atram that are also paying regular dividends. That gives Atram a total of four investment funds. What I was actually about to do was to give you a one-year update. I'm gonna do that on the next video because I needed to talk about the basics first about these two funds that I missed on sharing with you guys. If you are interested in that video, make sure that you don't miss next week's video. So what do you think about these two dividend paying funds from Atram? Let me know in the comment section. If you've liked this video, please don't forget to like, comment, and consider subscribing if you haven't already. Thanks again for watching guys and happy investing.